fam! Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. And this is Miss A again, your classy beauty savvy. And welcome 2020! I'm very happy to be filming another video for you guys. And finally, this is a beauty related video. So I started the new year right by showing you guys my bullet journal. So if you haven't checked that one out, I've shared actually a lot of new things with you guys for my bullet journaling. So I got my annual budget going for the entire year. I also got some haul for you guys for bullet journaling. So if you haven't checked that one out, I'll be linking it up in the iCard below or down there in the description bar for you guys to check it out. So again, finally, a beauty-related video for all of you guys. I missed this, and I'm very excited to share with you guys my most used beauty products for 2019. So if you want to want if you want to check it all out, uh, please stay tuned and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I noticed that a lot of you guys are not subscribed yet, so please do subscribe for you guys to get notified and for you guys to see more of my videos like this. Please do hit the subscribe button below and welcome to the family. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, first off, my favorite face products or my most used face products. So I got quite a few here. Let's start off with my most used Michido powder. This is my most used final powder for like the entire year. This is actually my second to uh, top. So a lot of beauty YouTubers are raving about this and this is their favorite. It really does the job so and it's very very affordable. Actually most of my most used products of 2019 are local products and very affordable so I'm very pleased with that. I want to share with you some recommendations and some things that can really make you save more money while becoming you know presentable and pretty all right so this is it also i love 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 this one the vice cosmetics duo finish foundation i am in morena the shade morena and i've used it so much as you can see it's already all beaten up because i've used it so much this year and this is it i already hit pan on it yes so again, one of my most used foundation, actually this is my only most used foundation, uh, powder for 2019. Good. Also, I have my most used sunscreen slash foundation because this is my go-to foundation for the entire year, half of 2019, and that is the BLK one. If you can see, it's very, very dirty. I know it's such a mess, but I use this. I bring this with me every single day. So it's just no surprise that it will look this dirty. I just don't know because whenever I mix it with my other products and makeup, it looks, it just gets so dirty. So I'm very sorry. By the way, this is in chestnut. It's the BLK Skin Tint Sun Shield. One of my favorites. So there. Next up, we also have my favorite highlighter. This one, or my most used highlighter, is from Blythe Cosmetics. Or, yeah, this one is the Blythe one. And it's the Stardust Palette. There we go. So, yeah, I've already used so much of this. And I specifically like using this one. But right now, I'm using this one in the inner corners. And my highlight is, of course, this one. Very, very beautiful product. I use this for the entire, like, ever since I got this from 2019, I did not stop using it. So it's very, very good. Also, I have my favorite eye products, or sorry, concealer. This one, my most used concealer. Again, it's super duper dirty because I've used this every single day and I bring with, bring it with me every single day. I'm sorry, it's the Maybelline New York Concealer, Fit Me Concealer. And this one is in light. So that's what I use today underneath my eyes just to cover the dark circles and this works wonder. So I like this. 
also I have my favorite um, eyebrow products. Okay, let's share or let's talk about my favorite or most used eyebrow products of 2019. So I actually used three products for eyebrows last year. First up is the Vice Cosmetics Gandal Micro Brow Product. I used this and finished this like so much like that. So you cannot even, you know, um, get any products from this anymore. This one I've used so much. This is also from Nichido. I've used it so much. It's super duper like small now because I've used it so much last year. And also now I'm using this from NYX. And this is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. And this one is in Brunette. There we go. I've used this so much last year. And up until now, this is what is actually on my brows. I use this one. So, right, those are my eyebrow products. And then my most used eyebrow gel is only this one from Vice Ganda as well. It's actually a set. So, I got this two together, right? So, this is also in soft brown. And you can already tell it's all beaten up again because I used so much of this for the entire year. So, there we go. Then we have my most used eyeliner. This one is from Blythe. And this one is their eyeliner duo with stamp. I love, love, love this stamp. I love using this every time there's like special occasion in our office. I use this. And of course, the, uh, um, the pen itself. It's nice because it's brown. I love how it, you know, makes the look a lot softer, not in your face black. So I like that. I use that today on top of my, uh, underneath my false lashes. So this is my most used eyeliner for 2019. Now let's talk about my most used, uh, oh there, eye products. Okay, I only got two most used eye products and this one, you can already tell it's my favorite because I used this a lot last year. This is the Caroline Full Face Palette's Play to Slay. Again, all beaten up because I used this almost every single day. So, beautiful, beautiful palette if you can see that. And I've made use of this so much. I love the metallics in here. I also love the, what do you call this, the mattes in here. They are my favorite. I cannot, I mean, they're my everyday go-to makeup. So that's 2019. So this one is a keeper. I love this. Also, my one of my favorite from Blythe Cosmetics as well, or most used uh, product, is the Starlight Eyes. I love this so much. And it just makes my eyes, my eyeshadow, or even my eyes look extra bright extra special i don't even need to put a lot of eyeshadow when i have this on so i love this starlight eyes from blythe cosmetics i've used this a lot last year and i also have my favorite or most used mascara and this is the maybelline the curl the hyper curl mascara this is so much it's all dried up now you need to buy a new one or explore a new one because I've used this for like a few years in a row now I haven't tried any other eye um, mascara so I should try something new this year and of course I got a lot of favorite or most used lipsticks last year here because I'm a lipstick junkie and most of my lipsticks are again affordable and locally available but they all are really good in performance. First off we have what I'm wearing right now is from Pen Shop there. This is the Pen Shop Light Matte Retro. This is my most used lipstick. Look how much I've used this for the entire year of 2019. It's so beaten up and used as well i love 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 this a shade it's so good i also have my favorites from sunny's these were their sunny's uh, lip dips 
there you go i actually used most of this most of these for eyebrow i'm uh, sorry a cheek product actually on my cheeks right now is this one this is the lip the peachy kind of that's what i'm using on my cheeks right now and some of these i use this on the go especially i just want to have some shade on my eyelids and a little bit on my cheeks i use this this is the Sunny's Phase Lip Dips. I got Peachy Kinda, Boysenberry, and Posh. These are my um, shades that I've used for the entire year of 2019, most of the months of 2019. And then I also used or love, love, love the Every Bilena, the Fenty ish ones. And this one is in Galore and Siesta. So these are my two favorite shades from this collection and I've used so much of this. This is Siesta and this is Galore. You can tell Galore is much more beaten up than Siesta. I just recently loved this Siesta but I still use them. So Galore is almost like that. I used it so much last year. So that's Galore. And this is Yesta. And then, of course, from Ever Bilena, oh, sorry, from BLK, these are my most used lipsticks from BLK. This one. And these are Latte and Mocha. This is their all day lipstick. There you go. Sorry, there's hair. So we got this one, um, Latte. And this one is Mocha used them so much last year so yes i love these shades they are for every day and they last so long my favorites also we have some favorite oh this one is my very favorite from caroline this is their soft suede lipstick in what's this in mood look at that so used this is my favorite shade I love this I actually love layering this with sunnies because sunnies can get a little bit drying on my lips because my lips are dry so I use this before I apply this and it just smell I mean it just blends so smoothly and it's suede that's why the consistency is so creamy I love 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 this one from Caroline the soft suede lipstick so I use this a lot and then for tint, I used this jelly one, the jelly candy tint from Siam. Siam. So this is actually a gift from my friend and I love the shade. There we go. It's just orangey, peachy orangey. And I don't know what this shade. Oh, there's persimmon orange there. This one is also my most used tint. Also this one from Blight, the tint here. I use this a lot as well, if you can see, for my cheeks just to get that very, very cheeks or flush because I like that kind of look. So here we go. Those are my most used beauty products of 2019 and I'm very pleased to share with you guys locally made products that are really performing very well and this can also help you save a lot of money especially if it's just an everyday use. For me personally, I like to use very special and high-end products for special occasions. So if it's not a very special day, like I just need to go to work, like these products, these very affordable local locally available products will do wonders for me and that's enough so <clears throat> there if you are someone who would like to save more and still look beautiful still look presentable then those kinds of these products that I've shown you are my recommendations because I reached out or I've used them so much last year so that means a lot that means they are good performers they are really affordable and they are you know not poor quality so yeah there you go guys thank you so much for watching my most used products of 2019 if you want and if you want to see more beauty related videos beauty reviews do let me know what products you want me to try this year and please subscribe for you guys to get notified every single time i upload a new video 
Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you again on my next video. Thank you. Bye everybody.